dear student teachers welcome back to the course knowledge and curriculum first unit concept of knowledge we are in the fifth module which deals with the differences between knowledge and skill teaching and training knowledge and information and reason and belief this is dr v girija professor and head school of education wales institute of science technology and advanced studies moving on we should once again uh, revisit what the near knowledge is knowledge is the awareness or familiarity gained by experience or a fact of a fact or a situation the content of a human mind apart from its biological structure contains experiences as a result of its interaction with the environment it is based on things that one interacts with on a daily basis as many times people perceive based on what they have seen experienced heard read learned or inferred after some experimentation these experiences and perceptions are then categorized in the mind as data information knowledge understanding or wisdom unlike wisdom information and knowledge perceptions are results of what the brain has recorded in the past the brain assimilates mental figures and impressions it is easy to get confused about knowledge and information people often use the terms interchangeably without knowing that there are slight and subtle differences between knowledge and information belief belief is a subjective truth truth is an abstract imagination both differ to some extent it is essential to know how knowledge differs from information information is that which informs in other words it is the specific answer to a specific question it is a concept which provides the description of a subject information information is raw data the word information comes from the latin language and information means to give from the mind which involves instruction and learning point data becomes information when it is applied to some purpose and as in adds value to the recipient collection uh, i mean information and uh, knowledge and information collection of information is a way to get knowledge knowledge is a self process acquired from its surroundings and by many experiences it is acquired through education knowledge means what can be known by an individual or by mankind knowledge always refers to comprehension knowledge is understanding based on information which a person gets human beings can get knowledge through education and from other sources information refers to data that has been processed knowledge is the result of the ability to make meaning of information information comes first and knowledge results from the information to get knowledge you need some cognitive and analytical ability while for information you do not need intellectual ability information is based on the presentation of data whereas knowledge comes from the examination of the data the difference between knowledge and information knowledge is dynamic whereas information is static knowledge is tacit and implicit whereas information is explicit knowledge involves awareness and the intuition depending on the maturity of the individual whereas difference uh, i mean Uh, in the information does not involve awareness and intuition knowledge is identical reproduction is not possible whereas in the uh, in the information it is a processed data and we all know knowledge is based on information and but here information is all information all information need not lead to knowledge and it can or it can be easily reproduced information can easily be reproduced meaning of information wisdom is the right use of knowledge to know is not to be wise many men know a great deal and are and are all greater fools for it there is no fool so great a fool as a knowing fool but to know how to use knowledge is to have wisdom according to charles spurgeon wisdom is the knowledge that is gained by having many experiences in life the natural ability to understand things that most people most other people cannot understand knowledge of what is proper or reasonable good sense of judgment on the other hand 
Wisdom refers to the ability to use one's knowledge and experience to make good decisions and judgments. Instruction The instruction does not involve the instruction between the teacher and the pupils. Still, an instruction can divert the pupils towards objectives. The main difference between teaching and instruction is that the teaching includes instruction but the instruction does, does include teaching. Hence, the teaching is instruction but the instruction is not teaching. In spite of this, all three cognitive, affective and psychomotor aspects of the pupils can be replacing and teaching. In short, instruction is that process which diverts the pupils towards the objective aspect. Teaching is an innate contact between a more mature personality and less mature one which is designed further the education later. Teaching is the kind of mentoring. In teaching, an interaction occurs between the teacher and the pupils, as a result of which the pupils are diverted uh, towards the objectives. In other words, the main element of teaching, that is the mutual relationship or the interaction between the teacher and the pupils, advances the pupils towards objectives. Skills A teacher makes use of number of methods and techniques to bring about effective learning. The techniques includes motivating the students, explaining, questioning and writing on the blackboard using teaching aids and so on. The teacher could also make use of the non-verbal behaviors such as smiling, nodding and gesturing. These groups uh, of activities are called skills. Beliefs The term belief and truth are often used in philosophy and belief is related to a man's mental situation. Based on belief, man thinks about the context. Belief develops in a man from infancy. In the beginning, the value of a fundamental belief develops through the mother, followed by social relations developed on traditional beliefs. A belief is the subjective requirement of knowledge and this means that a belief is biased and personal understanding and judgment. Forming belief is the basic feature of the human mind. When beliefs are justified and proven true, they assume the form of factual knowledge. The concept of belief was defined by Plato. According to him, belief is justification of truth. It is a mental representation on the positive base of truth. Belief is an acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists. Etymology of the word belief. The word belief comes from an old English word, word jelifa, which means faith or confidence. When a person accepts something about with uh, evidence, without evidence, it is belief. Let us look into the different definitions given by educational psychologists about belief. Golding in the year 2002 defined belief as beliefs are multiplied, encoded, internal, cognitive, affective and configurations to which the holder attributes truth value of some kind. The British Dictionary defines belief as belief is a feeling, it is a faith about a few any of, or any existence of matter or about the truth. Merriam-Webster defines belief as it is a definite confidence about a person or about a dictionary matter. Let us move on to truth. Truth is the property of being in accord with fact or reality. In everyday language, truth is typically ascribed to things that aim to represent reality or otherwise correspond to it, such, uh, such as beliefs, propositions and declarative sentences. Truth is usually held to be opposite of the falsehood. The concept of truth is discussed and debated in various contexts and including philosophy, art, theology and science. Most human activities depend upon the concept where, is, where its nature as a concept is assumed rather than being a subject of discussion. These include most of the sciences, law, journalism and everyday life. Some philosophers view the concept of truth as basic and unable to be explained in any terms that are more use, easily understood than the concept of truth itself. Most commonly, truth is viewed as the correspondence of language or thought to a mind-independent world. This is called the correspondence theory of truth. 
The differences between information and knowledge. Information. Information denotes the organized data about someone or something obtained through various sources such as newspaper, internet, television, discussions, etc. Whereas knowledge refers to the awareness of understanding on the subject acquired from education or experience of a person. Information is nothing but the refined form of data which is helpful to understand the meaning. Knowledge is the relevant and objective information that helps in drawing conclusions. Data compiled in the meaningful context provides information. When information is combined with experience and intuition, it results in knowledge. Processing improves the representation, thus ensures easy the interpretation and of the information. As against this, processing results in increased consciousness, thus enhances subject knowledge. Information brings on comprehension of the facts and figures, knowledge which leads to the understanding of the subject. The transfer of information is easy through different means that is verbal or non-verbal signals. The transfer of knowledge is a bit uh, difficult but it acquires learning on the part of the receiver. Information can be reproduced in low cost. Similar reproduction of knowledge is not possible because it is based on experimental or individual values, perceptions, etc. Information alone is not sufficient to make generalization or prediction. Knowledge has the ability to predict or make inferences. Every information is not necessarily be a knowledge. All information is knowledge. These are the differences between knowledge and information. Now let us move on to the distinction between knowledge and information. There are four ways of uh, knowing. That is language, perception, reason and emotion and um, knowledge equal to justified truth and belief. Reasonable knowledge, evidence, coherence, information is said to be the facts provided for learner about someone or something. Information is factual, it can be trivial but information can also be false. Information can lack connectedness.